Yeah. I just picked up my car from Black Magic Metal Works. Woo! I have the new caster plate in with the camber adjustment. Uh, the caster is fixed. The caster is set to the maximum positive angle I can get uh, out of the car without modifying anything. So let's go to the alignment shop, get this aligned, and take a look at what's going on. All right, we are here. Let's get the car inside and take a look around. Ooh, there's a really nice 911SC right here. I don't know what year it is. I'm not very uh, well versed in Porsche, but that looks like a whale tail. It looks pretty cool. And right behind it is a very good example of the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Let's look at this. This looks fantastic in here. And here's the carbureted boxer motor. It looks really strange. And here it is, a Nissan Patrol. I don't really know what's going on here, but it looks like a nice project they're working on with it all taken apart. Let's get my car on the alignment rack here, figure it all out, and go try it out. See, you can ride this. You can drive the thing with motorcycle boots. Back away from me. <laughs> Stop. Look, the advantage of being small. Huh? Even though this guy's over the side. And then I come out and people still park like crap. Come on. Oh my god. This is so much better. Look, I can let go and I'm not gonna die. Oh man. So this is excellent. I just got the car, I had dinner. That's why it's all dark in here now. I have to turn on my dome light. But my little bounciness, vibration is all gone. The wheels were totally unbalanced. Uh, I had that fixed. But this, the, the alignment, this is so nice. I'll show you this better uh, tomorrow in the morning. Daytime, I guess. So here it is, the car is fully aligned. It's set up to be a little bit aggressive with the camber, just a little bit overstock. And uh, look, look, this is great. There's little bumps and stuff in the road. The car's no longer skittering around. It steers really good, it coasts really well. I think the most impressive part is how the handling is now. The handling was really dirty before. It was all over the place, but I mean, it was controllable, kind of made it a little bit sketchy, but you know, that's what makes it fun, right? But you know, on longer trips, it kind of gets old where you have to kind of like hold this to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Let's bomb it through here and see how this goes. This is perfect for road trips now. I could actually drive this for like a long distance somewhere 
and not just get tired focusing on, on keeping this little beast straight. It's finally tamed. So if I drive in the middle, there should be less of a crown for the car to wander. And, and those bumps right there, those used to make the whole front skitter and you'd be like, oh, I gotta hang on. But look at that, that was perfect. Oh, look. Oh, let's see if we can see it. Can I get close to it? Will it let me? Or is it gonna fly away? Quickly going over the alignment issues with this car, I'm gonna use this piece of wood here as a demonstration of where my shock is. The shock is right in the center there. Uh, I don't exactly know 100% sure, I'm not an expert in this, but basically my understanding is when you lower this car, the way the suspension's set up with that one control arm and the sway bar being the, uh, the kind of like the A arm, uh, it, it messes with the alignment every bit that you go down. So natively when you buy the Navic coilovers, you've already lowered your car. It doesn't matter if you're in the highest position of the coilover, you're lowering your car. That will mess with the caster. The shock being vertical is zero caster or neutral. Typically, you would want your caster to be forward. Now, obviously, this is super over-exaggerated here with, with this piece of wood and how many degrees I'm giving it. This is probably like a huge amount of caster. But you would want it to be somewhat positive, like this. You don't want it to be negative like that because that's the rear of the car and this apparently handles like a shopping cart. Tony at Blackmagic Metalworks was describing that this is like shopping cart handling. And right when he said that, it clicked in my mind, but yeah, definitely, it handles like a shopping cart. The last alignment I did after I lowered the car, it said I had negative seven camber in the front. Negative seven degrees, apparently that is a lot. Like I said, I didn't lower my car that much. My rear is at the highest position it can, it can go, I mean, plus or minus a little bit, but I have the front to match the rear. That's just where I'm at. I mean, obviously, if you're lower than me, you'll have even more negative caster than me, but I'm at negative seven, and we had to correct this. We had no idea how much we can correct, but we were able to correct it to the point where it is positive. And stock alignment spec says three and a half, I think. I'll sh also show that on the screen. And three and a half, well, that's where we ended up, three and a half. So the caster plate added plus 10 and some degrees. So now I went from this to this. And oh my God, the car handles so much better. You can't really see the difference, but this top plate right here was what was changed. Unfortunately, I don't have video of this being done, but how it works is these two bolts come out. The whole strut drops off, of course. So you got to take this out. And then your camber bolts up here, you remove them. This plate will just come right out, and all you do is swap the new one right on there. I had three requirements for this project. Uh, basically, I wanted to retain the camber adjustment available up top within this strut mount hole. I did not want any physical modifications to the car, and I wanted to gain as much caster as I could. And right here, this plate fits the bill. Uh, I've seen plates made for other cars where this, basically, they'll just recess it into, like, they'll give a button head or they'll just kind of make a thicker plate so that you can recess the screw head onto the, the into the plate so you can even slide this back even further. That makes for a pain in the butt to adjust this. Maybe one day, if you guys really need that, we could probably work something out. I don't know if it'll be worthwhile to do that because this already gives you 10 and a half positive caster. Uh, I'm not sure how much more there is. I mean, let's say you get 11 or maybe 11 and a half. One degree, hey, I mean, in some cases, one degree might matter a lot. So maybe, maybe. You can see here on my prototype plate that I'm already kind of stuck with because it's all aligned and set up. I'm not gonna touch it, I'll just deal with it. So the, the, the hardware here was not stainless. The final product, Casterly, will have a stainless stud and it'll be welded in and ground flush on the bottom. And I will give either a stainless nut and a washer or maybe just a flange nut. I mean, that's what this is right now. It seems to work pretty well. I'll pull up the alignment specs here so you can compare them side by side. 
A huge thanks to Chris at Craftworks Auto Technic. He made sure that these were excellent and now the car handles fantastically excellent. He also gave me some advice when I asked him some stuff like sort of like my wheel balance and he suggested I try balancing it because it might be a big deal and they're balanced and they are fantastic too. The car is super smooth now. Super. A huge thanks to Tony at Blackmagic Metalworks making these casterly plates to fix the alignment issue with uh, my car over there. The plates are in production and are available to buy if you haven't bought one already. You should be able to go to my website anythingwheel.com, go to the shop page and scroll down to find all the goodies that you could get. It's amongst all those goodies. It's pretty cool I got to do business with two great local automotive shops. It's always great to be working with a local place so you can at least like have some sort of quick communication rather than playing phone tag all the time and just waiting and hoping that they do stuff. Please subscribe, like, comment, on to the next project. Thank you for watching.